Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I just wanted to go over what I bought the other day. I wanted to do a haul. So I just went to Walmart and I was looking at the makeup and there was a lot of new makeup. So I just decided, okay, I need to get all this stuff and then do a video and share with everyone. So I'm really excited about this and I hope you are excited with it. I think all of this is gonna be really great stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so just some things here and there that I got that I want to quickly go through because they're exciting, but not as exciting as some of the new makeup stuff that came out. So I needed to get more lashes, so I got the um, Kiss Me, or Kiss Lashes. They're just the natural, um, natural looking lashes. They're not total glam, and that's what I like to wear um, when I do wear lashes. So... I'm excited that I have this and I'm excited that I have so many because I do go through them very quickly. Okay, and then I just needed a new sponge because my other one is just really gross. So, but what I'm really excited about is this flat edge to be able to contour and make a really sharp line. And so I want, um, I can use it and, and you know, put, th put this in powder and then kind of go along and make that sharp line or just use this to put all over my face to set my makeup. So I'm really excited to use this and see how well it works, um, especially this flat end. So I'm really excited about this. First, I wanted to start with mascaras. Um, at Ulta there was a um, get five times the points for mascaras, so I thought I would get a couple of them that um, I thought would be pretty good for the price. So the first one that I got that I'm really excited about was the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So this one is just like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It actually looks, the packaging looks almost identical to it. I'm not quite sure if it has the same formula or if it works as good. So um, I'm going to try it and see, and see what I think. But I think it's going to be a pretty good mascara. Um, but here's what the wand looks like. It's pretty big. From what I've seen with the other Better Than Sex Mascara is that the wand is pretty similar to this. So I'm pretty excited to see how well this works compared to the Too Faced Mascara. Okay, the other one that I got was Essence. I think it's a new brand in Ulta um, that it's pretty, pretty cheap. It's like four, three or four dollars for this. So um, this is just the Lash Princess one. And both of them, sorry, are in like the black is black. That's, so that's what I got. But let's open this up and see. So this is a pretty long wand. And it starts big and then tapers down and gets a little bit smaller. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see how well this is going to work. Um, but I just thought the packaging was super cute. And I'm really excited to see how well this works. Especially since it's a really cheap uh, mascara. So I needed to get setting powder for my face and so I wanted to try the flower because I've heard really really good things about the other setting powders that they have. Um, I think it's 01 and 02. Those are, those are colored powders but this one is just a translucent um, matte powder. So I'm curious to see how well this works if it's going to make my face look cakey or super dry or just not, not look good. Um, so I'm excited to see how well this works, but it, I mean it is pretty big packaging and the packaging is really pretty with the gold and white. It comes with a little puff thing to put it on your face. And anyway, it's, yeah, it's just white. The powder's just white. And it does feel like silky and smooth. This is the new, these are new Wet n Wild contour sticks. So this is the contour stick. Um, this is the highlight or illuminating stick. And then this is the conceal correction stick. Okay, so let's look at each one and then I'll just swatch them on my hand. Um, but this one is the number um, 804A. This is the lightest one that they had. So, I mean, it is pretty dark for being the lightest one. So, I mean, there was only like three other colors, so I wasn't that impressed with the color selection in these, but I'm just willing to try it. So, um, this is the 804A. The swatching does, that looks pretty orange to me. If you can see. Like, I mean, it's a little orange. And I don't really like orange, um, 
contours because I don't want to look more orange and burnt on my face. But, I mean, we'll see how well it blends. It does feel very, like, smooth and creamy, so I am pretty excited about that. Um, so here's the Conceal Stick. They only had one... No, they have also they also had three shades in these, and this is shade 807. I think this was the lightest shade that they had, but this feels the exact same way as the contour stick. I mean, that looks. I think it looks really good, and I think it's gonna do. I think it's gonna cover really well, and just. I don't. I don't think it will make your face look oily, but I mean, hopefully, I'll just have to see because my face is pretty oily. Okay, so this is the. Illuminator or highlight stick. They this is what only came in one color. Um, it is an 800. That's what it's called. And I'll just swatch. This is really really sparkly, and I think it looks so pretty. It is. It does have a pink tone. You can see that. I think that's so pretty. And this will work with like skin tones. Um, that are fair um, because of that pink tone to it but I just think these look really creamy and just they're gonna look really good on the skin so I'm so excited for these hopefully these blend out really well and just don't get oily after you know throughout the day so hopefully they work pretty well okay so I'm super excited for this their new blushes, they are the ombre brushes. So excited for these. Can you see? This one's like purple and this is like a pink peach color. So pretty, oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Okay, this is what the purple looks like. Let me see, can you see it? Oh, it's so pretty. So it starts with the purple and then goes down to like pink. I'm just gonna swatch it real quick. And that's what it looks like. You can tell that it does have like purple in it, but I think it's going to look so pretty on the skin because it's not like a crazy wild purple, so I think it's going to look pretty natural. The pink peachy one. I think this one looks so pretty, and this will be like a really pretty everyday um, blush. So I'll just swatch this real quick, and I just go back and forth. So here's what this looks like. Um, more pink, peachy color. So it will come up on my skin. It's like it's right there. It doesn't come up, but um, I thought I think it looks really pretty. You can you can definitely tell that it is going to be a pink blush. Okay, so on for the really exciting part. So this is their new. Um, actually, I don't think it is new. It's just one of their pal one of the three palettes that they have. Um, so this is called Nude Awakening. I think it's so pretty with the colors in here. It does come with a little sponge thing. Don't ever use those. They're horrible. But here's what the colors look like. So pretty. I'm just, I think these are going to be really, really good. I think they're, they're beautiful in here. So I'm just going to swatch. This is the first one. I mean, it looks just like the color. Okay, and this is the sparkles. Is ooh, right there. And that's the second one. Is this one? Um, this is the third color, so right here. Um, it does I think it's a little sparkly and it's brownish. This is pink. But this I think this has like brown and gold in it. Then I'm gonna go on to this one. This is like a more dark gold gold. Like more pure gold, if you can see. I mean, that would be a beautiful highlight on the cheekbones. So pretty. And this is a dark purple pink sparkle. I think that looks really pretty. Let me see if I can. You can see that. Yeah, I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go on to this brown one. This is a brown cooler tone. And this is what this one looks like. It's just, 
It's just a matte one, great for the crease. This one is a really, really dark purple. I think it looks so pretty in the pan. I mean, look at that. That's like a dark purple with some brown in it. That just looks so pretty. Um, this one is a just a sparkle, really dark purple. That one right there. It is purple. It looks like brown, but that one looks more purple. But this is a really, really, I mean, really, really, really dark purple brownish color, I guess, compared to this one. And then here is the dark, dark green. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Here is the dark green. You can tell that it has green in it a little bit. Is this one right here. And then here is the very end one is a, just a black color. So I just think these look so pretty and I think they're going to be great on the lid. They have great pigmentation for just swatching them. Um, when I do put them on my arm, like with the swatches that I did do, it does, like, it shows up on my arm pretty well. I'll just show you the last four that I put on my arm. If you can see that. Autos. And plus this is like three or five five dollars I think I mean this is pretty pretty cheap so this is I think great quality for how cheap it is um, so I think it's gonna be really really good okay so I think that's all that I have for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed um, I will be doing a video on these new wet and wild items that I had and do a makeup tutorial with it um, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.